All right, guys, that's the lap time. We're going to take a look to the BGP neighbor configuration together. So we have two steps to accomplish. In the first step for topology above, we need to perform neighbors between rather 4 and rather 5 over loopback and without loopbacks. Okay, as you can see, these guys are EBGP peers, right? Because they are in different autonomous systems. In the second for the topology above, we need to perform neighborhoods rather one and rather four via loopback. Okay, this guy has a loopback. One, 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 I think. And this guy has a loopback. Four, 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 four. And we need to peer them via IBGP this time. Because they are in the same autonomous system. Okay. What I'm going to do firstly in the question is to activate an IGP to provide IBGP connection. Okay. As I told you in the slides, we need an IGP or we need it to define a static or rod or something like that. Because before configuring IBGP, we need to provide the reachability between our routers. All right. So let's go and define the uh, define the OSPF in the autonomous systems. All right. Brief. Router ID network. Then let's jump to other guy. Network area zero and network twenty four. Let's go. Rather SPF one and rather ID three 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 no work and thirteen. Okay, rather four. Rather. OSPF one, rather ID, then network. Ah, CLA is making me crazy sometimes. Three, four, and two, four, and Let's advertise our loopback as well. Okay. Okay. I finished my OSPF configuration in the autonomous system. And let's start with the second step now. We need to perform a neighborship between rather one and four via their loopback. Okay. They're in the same autonomous system as you can see. Let's go to one and four. I'm in rather one. Let's try the pink first. If I get the loop back. Okay. I can get the loop back of rather four as you can see via IGP from the IGP that I configured. OSPF is carrying me. All right. Now I can configure IBGP. Rather BGP and AS number. Neighbor 4444 is in the remote AS of 5500. And neighbor, when I'm neighboring with 4444, I'm sourcing my 
loopback. Okay, to define the neighborship from the loopback, we need to use update source loopback command. All right, I'm in router four. Then I'm gonna define the neighbor statements. Neighbor, this time 1111, in remote AS of 5500 and neighbor 1111 update source loopback zero. When I'm neighboring with this guy, I'm sourcing my loopback zero, which is IP address of 4444. All right, let's see if I can provide a BGP adjacency between these two guys. Okay, I'm waiting. And yes, as you can see, the PGP is converging a little bit slower when you compare with the OSPF or AIGRP, but we accomplished. PGP adjacency is up right now with 1111, and I can check the show IP BGP summary, and I can see my neighbor, and I can see the timers as well. All right, this second step is accomplished. Let's take a look to first step now. For the topology above, perform neighborship between four and five this time. Okay, I'm gonna EBGP peer this guys. Firstly, using without loopback. Then I'm gonna show you what we should do to peer with from the loopback. All right. Rather for rather BGP and neighbor. Five and remote AS is six five zero zero, right? Okay. Let's go to five. Remove the, oh, what I'm doing, <laughs> neighbor. Remove AS 5500, okay. That should be enough to peer because I'm trying to establish an EBGP peering. All right, that's cool. I haven't configured anything I just configured a neighbor and remote AS statement, as you can see, to peer from the direct interfaces connected to each other. Okay, I have peered by using these IP addresses and I provide peering with the rather far and rather five. If I want to make them neighbor from their loopback addresses, what well, I need to configure is for this time, for EBGP, I should use EBGP multi-hop command. Okay. Actually, EBGP peers should be directly connected, as you can see in here. These interfaces are directly connected, but my loopback interfaces are not directly connected, as you can see. So I need to use ABGP multi-hop command. Also what I need to configure else is a static route between router 4 and router 5 to provide communication between 4444 and 5555. All right, let's go. IP route 25555 send the packet to this guy and let's do it in the reverse direction
Then I'm getting into the BGP statement. And what I should define in here is EBG neighbor 4444 EBGP multi hop 2. But I just need to define it first. Neighbor 4444 removes AS and this time EBGP multi hop 2. And anyway, I need to make the same configuration in here. Neighbor 5555 in remote AS and neighbor 5555 with ABGP multi hop 2. All right, guys. As you can see, that I configured all the steps. And I showed you how I become adjacent, how I become a peer from the loopbacks or from the direct info interfaces in EBGP. And I showed you how we can make peering from our loopbacks in the IBGP. So I can use the tick in here as well. Okay, guys. We are coming to the end of this session too and thanks for viewing.